In this video we're going to take a look at the intro web challenge from the DEF CAMP Capture the Flag competition. Funnily enough, the first CTF video that I uploaded to YouTube was back in 2017 for the DEF CAMP qualifiers, around the time that I went to the conference in Bucharest. I would recommend not going back to look at that video because the audio quality is terrible, but hopefully this one will be a bit better. And the description for this one says, are you an admin? Note, access denied as part of the challenge. And we need to find a flag that begins with CTF and then a SHA256 hash. So let's take a copy of the server address and port number. We've got no files to download this time. Let's go and open it up and we get straight through to this access denied. So the first thing we're probably going to want to do is have a look to see do we have any cookies here, which we do. We've got this session cookie. And whenever you see this, it might look like the format's quite similar to what you would see with a JSON web token. But let's see what happens if we go and put it into something like jwt.io. We paste in a token here, quite a similar format. You can see here we've got logged in false and then we've got this payload data. Now if we tried to change that and say let's just change that to true and it's automatically inserted this algorithm, we can take a copy of that and go back, change the cookie, reload and this time we get this strange error message, value, error, year, 3,417,591 is out of range. So we can go and trace through this error, but the first thing we'll start to notice here is that we have some mentions of Flask. So we know that this is a Flask server, so what we probably want to do is rather than looking at JSON web tokens, let's go and search for Flask. We can search hack tricks, so just Flask pen testing or something, try and get up some potential techniques that we can use. And the reason there, if we go, let's have a look at Burp Suite. Let's, uh, let me actually make that request again. Let's get rid of that cookie, reload the page, have a look at our get request. And you can see here then, it's setting the session as a cookie, so it's not the authorization bearer that you would see with JSON web tokens. That should be a clue, even though the format is quite similar. You can also see the server here that's running as well, so Python might be a hint as well. Uh, okay, let's go and have a look and see what Hacktricks has got for us. So the first thing we'll see is the default cookie session name is session, which is exactly what we just saw as well. And we can use an online decoder to decode the Flask cookie. Or we can have a look at some command line tools like this flask unsign. So we should be able to install this with pip install. I'm going to take a copy of that. Allow that to install. And then we've got the usage here. Or we can go back and have a look at hack tricks. And we can pass in a cookie as you can see here. We can brute force the cookies. Let's first of all just try and decode it then. So I'm going to take a copy of this. Paste this in. Let's go and grab our cookie. And you'll see that this time we just get the logged in false. We don't have any of that payload data which was dependent on the, the key that's been used to sign it. So let's see if we can identify what that is. You see here we can sign a cookie. So we could modify this to say logged in equals true instead of logged in false. But we need to know what the secret is to sign it. So let's see if we can first of all brute force it. We have this option here, flask unsign, unsign cookie. So I'm going to take a copy of that paste this in here. Let's actually go and create a cookie.txt. You might be able to just pass this in the command line as well, but we'll just do it the same as the example. Save that and let's go back and see what else we had here. Okay, that's it. We can just pass that in. No word list selected. Okay, so let's select a word list, I guess. Dash dash word list. We'll do user share word lists rock you we run through that and we immediately get this error and the error is telling us that the secret must be a string type and it received an int to fix this either add quotes to the secret one two three four five six or use a no lat literal eval argument okay so we'll do that one so it's it's found one two three four five six as one of the passwords in this list and it's interpreted as an integer instead of a string. We try that again and very, very quickly it finds out that the password was password. So now we can go ahead and use this final technique that we saw here to sign a cookie. So we'll paste this in, it's the exact same cookie that we want, logged in is true. And we sign it with a password. We generate this token, this cookie value. Let's go back and update this refresh the page and we get back our flag. So that was a super quick one. 
but I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. Maybe I'll get some more of these done and get a couple more videos up during a week, we'll see. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.